In this video, we will create a separate component for Angular Material Toolbar. Here, we are using the same bookstore application and it is running on the browser. Here, expand this app folder. Here, we have shared module. I want to create a new component for Material Toolbar here. Let's open the terminal window. Here, type this command to create a new component. I want to create this new component inside the shared module and inside this components folder then component name will be toolbar then press enter you can see here we got new folder inside this we have four new files um, inside this shared module we have the toolbar component in the declarations array now Let's open this app component.html file. Here, let's command this first toolbar because we are using tool, uh, toolbar in this application. Now, remove this uh, toolbar code from here. Let's open this toolbar component.html file, paste it here, and open this app component.acss file. Remove this code from here and we will use it in the toolbar component.acss file. Okay. You can see here we are getting some error um, because this application does not know anything about a mat toolbar and mat icon because uh, we already included the corresponding modules in app module. But still we are getting these errors. Um, this is because every module is uh, separate in itself. Now we are using this toolbar component uh, in shared module but uh, we have not defined anything in this shared module. You can see here uh, we are not importing any corresponding modules in this uh, imports array in shared module. We can fix it easily. Now open this app module file. Let's copy these uh, three import lines. And let's open this shared module file, paste it here, Sorry, open this app module file and copy these lines and paste it here. Again go back to app module file. So here copy these three modules paste it in the imports array and save the changes see here there is no error now uh, let's see in the browser the application is running uh, but we are not using the toolbar component that is why um, here we don't have toolbar to use the toolbar component let's open this toolbar component.ts file here copy this selector and go to app component.html file and paste it save the changes see here uh, we are getting an error because uh, this uh, app modules does not know anything about this um, app toolbar for that in shared module we have to use this toolbar component in exports array so let's create exports array here we have to use toolbar component that's it save the changes see your the error is gone why we are using this toolbar component um, in exports array it means um, we are telling the application that this shared module as the component that can be used outside also that does not mean uh, that all the modules will use this component in case uh, if any module want to use this component then they have to import it see in the terminal window uh, there is no error let's see in the browser see here we are having this toolbar there is a relationship in between a uh, shared module and app module. Let's open this app module here. Already we are importing 
this shared module in app module file uh, this is how it is working whatever the components um, we have in the exports array in the shared module those are available for this app module what will happen if i remove this um, shared module in this app module file see here we are getting an error so let and command this line then only it will work in app component.html file i can use this toolbar component multiple times like this and save the changes let's see in the browser see or oh, this is the beauty of component uh, we are getting three toolbar we have to only write this uh, particular tag we will get whatever we have defined inside this component remove these uh, two lines that we don't need and save the changes we need only one toolbar that is why let's see in the browser see here uh, the toolbar is working fine in separate component this is how we can create a separate component for angular material toolbar in angular application i hope you like this video Thanks for watching this video.